right. just like, what does that mean? Hey, you know, that, that works. All right, here's the winner of our last game. Um, is it going to be cheesy this game or not? We have to wait and see from the team Slayers. He is. Slayers Kanji. Dude. Yeah? At GSTL the other day, uh -huh. Beyond's puppy is <laughs> so freaking adorable. It was about as adorable as tiny little drones harvesting minerals from our Blue Zerg player. He is. Check the prime wheat. There's check. So Does he have a pink keyboard? Uh, what? I think check has a pink, pink keyboard. keyboard. Yeah, that's awesome. Was it? I thought it was just white with the strange lighting. I don't oh, know. Might have been. Maybe. Thanks to Pepsi and G Skill for sponsoring the GSL. And uh, yeah, and you know, thank you, Doa. I didn't sponsor the GSL. No, but thank you for oh, thank you. commentating the GSL. Well, thank and you for we are gonna see commentating with me too. A Makarax. Well, technically, it's not a Makarax. Is it only Makarax if it's the second one? Yeah, if it's the second variant. Oh, oh some okay. fans from Malaysia. Heart SC2, nice. Checking out the GSL today. Yeah, there's actually, we talked to some fans earlier that are here from Toronto. Yeah, Germany. And a few people from Germany as yeah. well. So, that's awesome. Yeah, uh, I mean, StarCraft is there a is, global there sport. Is, I don't think there's, the I've been here for a day. Sorry to cut you off there. What were you saying? Oh, no, let's go ahead. I was going to say, I, I don't think I've been here a single day when there wasn't uh, some foreigners here, some non-Koreans oh, yeah. at the GSL. Yeah, we've had a couple days where it's even been more foreigners than Koreans in the studio. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, this uh, barracks kind of put outside the base. That may be just to confuse Czech. So if Czech like, does a drone scout and doesn't see the barracks in his base, he's like, oh crap, I'm being proxied again. Yeah. But yeah. I don't know. Uh, he's just scouting with his overlord. He's not too concerned. I think I saw his drone going around his natural a little bit. So he did check for proxy behind his base again, but did not find anything of the sort just yet. And yeah, the barracks is just floating back to his front door and yep. a little oh. fake bunker as well. It's bunker as well. Yeah, this pressure won't be as hard as it was in the last game, although last game it was only one bunker as well. But, you know, he's building it in plain sight of the hatchery. Just wants to pull some drones. Just exactly. wants to make check lose some mining time. Maybe kill a couple drones if he's lucky. And he did overreact to it a little bit. Sent four drones out, five drones to... Um, well, I guess if the bunker finished, he well, could put that marine in there. But yeah, I, I think I think at least four or five is is how you need to react to seeing something like that. I mean, if you go with any less, we've seen a lot of players you know lose some drones, and uh, you know potentially yeah. lose their hatchery to it. So yeah, it's always better to I'd say go with you know one or two extra yeah. well, to lose that mining time. It, it was clearly just a gesture to try and freak check out. You know, hiding the barracks, putting down the bunker, trying to make check remember his crushing defeat from the previous game and cower in fear <laughs> when in fact he just made a single marine and now he's going ahead and teching up and getting a reactor and a factory is going to come up and follow this with a reactor Helen expand. Yep. And I wouldn't be surprised at all to see a tech lab go down in the barracks and then uh, switch the factory over once he's got a couple of Hellenes out and then go for blue flame. That's been a popular thing to do. There's the tech lab on the barracks right now. Seems like a lot of the uh, Terran players these days have been doing this type of build where you open with maybe two to four Hellions, Run. switch the buildings, and that probe. Oh, oh no. <laughs> SCV. It was, it was like, was like I'm staying ahead, I'm staying ball. ahead, I'm staying ahead. Oh, there's four circlings in front of me. It's close. Hellions coming out for revenge. And he did see the command center, so he knows the type of build it is. Now we've seen some Zergs respond really well to that. We saw Leenok get pressured by this type of opening before in some earlier games this season and respond perfectly to it. So, I mean, Czech Prime yeah. knows what's coming. Well, that's thought he's, he's trying to bring up the ramp. Zergling stopped those Hellions from getting in. Nice yeah. placement in a spot where the spine crawler can hit it. The second spine crawler is going to get up just in time along with the Queen to block. And we're seeing now that command center almost finishing as well as a couple more racks. Ganji. Yep. He is getting and the is that? Okay, that infernal pre-igniter upgrade, and yes, a starport. Yep. That's generally what you see is the factory, and then two more barracks, and then a, a starport. And a partridge in a pear tree. And a partridge in a pear tree. That's right. Uh, he's getting a second gas as well, and so yeah, Ganji. He has map control now. He hasn't been able to do anything with those Hellions, but now he's got Hellions at both the watchtowers. He's got a marine at the third. And actually, come to think of it, he only produced two Hellions, I think, with those, uh... He's producing more now, but... Well, yeah, you he see switched the, He switched the reactor back over to the barracks. Yeah, you see it both ways. Uh, some Terran players like to get four, you know, to stay extra safe while they're expanding. And 
You know, I've seen some that like to do it this way too. You get the blue flame a little bit faster. You can keep producing Hellions even though it's a little bit slower by doing it this way. But yeah, I it's think really, either way is just fine. It's really. really cool to see what Terrans are doing with um, yeah. creative add-on switching. Switching back and forth and back and forth. Mm -hmm. And really making use of those add-ons and creative combinations. Well, the real nice benefit of things like that is that you can change your timings, you know, ever so slightly each yeah. game. And so your opponent doesn't just have, all right, I need to worry about minute four, I need to worry about minute eight, you know, or whatever. It's They need to worry about things pretty constantly. So, yeah. Kind of cool. Yep. And there's a medevac full of Marines heading out now. It's going to try and do a little bit of harassment. There are a few Banelings just being produced. Yep. We've, we've kind of seen Banelings be sort of the downfall of this opening lately. Um, but what I, I should kind of backtrack and say the downfall has really been players not controlling their units against said Banelings. Yeah, hold that thought, though. Yep. Uh, there is a drop coming in the back. He's going to have to control well because there's a spine, and he's uh, not even going to drop, actually. Yeah, wouldn't either, but he can distract us so the Hellions can come in. Nice. Blue Flame is upgraded. He's going to try and roast some drones. Yep, loses one Hellion right away, and this is going to do absolutely nothing. Wow. Yeah. Shut down. I think he killed like maybe one drone with that. But it can be tough. Spire on the way now for uh, Check Prime, so he's going to try to get those Mutalists as quick as possible. I think that's probably a good decision. Oh no, Ganji actually Whoa. caught off guard a big, in a big way with those Zerglings, and he is going to lose potentially a good amount of NCVs. Yeah, he that definitely lost more than uh, Ganji killed with those Hellions, man. He also, though, I'm just going to throw that out there, he also lost a lot less than he could have. That was some beautiful micro. Yeah. He actually um, used the mining trick to run the SCVs through the Marines and then stop them in the perfect spot that they actually got in the way of the Zergling. So made a little shield there, a very nice move. Here comes the Bailings uh -oh. though. And he's gonna try and pick off some Marines. Can he control well enough? There's no siege tech. All right. And out. Ooh, yeah. Lost about maybe eight Marines or so there, so that's a good chunk. And here comes more Zerglings, but that is actually a really bad decision by Jack. Whoa. And that's actually, remember, that's how Ganji almost lost a little bit versus Fruit Dealer. I mean, he just out macroed Fruit Dealer, but there was a couple times where Ganji was winning, mm -hmm. and Fruit Dealer just ran in eight Banelings, and Ganji did not split at all, or very well, yeah. and lost his whole army. So that is definitely a weakness of Ganji that we're seeing Check take advantage of here. Well, this type of opening is very, very micro and multitasking intensive. Um, you can see Ganji adding on tanks and some siege mode now to make it a little bit less so. Yeah. Um, because, yeah, if it, we saw Boxer try to go Hellion, Marine, Medivac, and, you know, you can do it, but it just takes a ton of multitasking, and, and that ended up being his downfall. You know, he lost, like, 14 Hellions in one swoop to Banelings and things. Uh, looks like Ganji, though, is going to kind of go just Marine tank, kind of forgo the Hellions for now. Which I'm, I gotta say, I'm a little bit surprised about. Usually it's good to have, you know, a good group of Blue Flame Hellions in with this type of push as well. Yeah. But playing a little bit more traditionally. Uh, opting to get more tanks. The other thing is, is Blue Flame Hellions don't actually do very well against Banelings, and so he's already seen a lot of Banelings. So it does make a little bit of sense to just get more tanks instead out of his factory, although... Well, this is really good timing by Ganji, too. Factory. It's going to match up right when Siege and, and uh, Plus One finishes. Yeah, Combat nice. Shield will be there a little bit later. The Mutalists are out now, though, so that's going to make things slightly more difficult. He's going to have to be very, very careful not to lose any tanks and things like that. And I don't know, Moltrap. This might be pretty tough for Gonti to actually make work unless he plays very carefully. Yep, Mutalists doing some harassment there. He's using the ones on the low ground, the Marines on the low ground, to protect the ones on the high ground. Ganji stims his whole army again, another thing that he had trouble with before. Yeah, and Ganji. Ganji's actually falling back. He knows he needs and to. And Check may punish him for it. He's giving chase. Uh-oh. Yeah, he's got a small group of lings there. Could be enough to do damage. There's the main army. And Ganji might be caught in the middle of the map here. It's not what he wanted. Suddenly, he's very immobile. He's stuck in the middle of the map. That yep. is not a fun situation to be in. No, no. If he unseizes, then the Banelings will be able to get too close. So he can't really afford to unseize unless he knows that Check's force is too far away. But he has actually unseized, now that I've said uh -huh. that. And he's grouping up with another group of forces in the middle. Yep. Well, he's rallied forward and is heading down towards Ooh, the... Ooh, some burrowed banelings. Did he uh -oh. see it, though? Uh oh Oh, I don't know oh, if he no. saw it, Moltrap. Ooh. Whoa, that was close. Oh, my gosh. But he has to go back that way <laughs> to does. attack. He's checking for the gold to see if... Yep. 
That's Check actually, took it. Oh no, that's actually going to line it up even better for oh, Check no. Prime. I've got a big stupid oh. on my face. Is he going to go around? Oh He's wow. He's going to go around the top. <laughs> oh man, this is like in Home Alone where the traps are set and you're just waiting for the criminals to walk into him. <laughs> just like, oh boy. He's going to do Check, it. Check put a hot iron on the door handle and and, and Ganji just went in the back door instead. But hold that thought, he might try the front. Oh! oh. So <laughs> oh my gosh. That could literally win the game for Czech. That I would know, destroy Ganji's entire army, and Czech would be able to get two extra bases up. Oh, Ganji's actually. He's just actually, gotten a third, actually. Ganji is actually supply blocked, but he was for a moment there. Um, but yeah, those Banelings are like, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> He's not walking over them. Oh my goodness. Yep. Uh, right now, I mean, if we take a moment to look at the supplies, Ganzi is ahead 157 or 161 rather than 143. And, you know, I mean, whenever Terran is ahead of Zerg, that becomes a pretty tough situation for Zerg. Even if Terran is even with Zerg, just the, you know, the cost efficiency of the Terran units versus the cost efficiency of the Zerg units, um, you know, you definitely want to be much, much more ahead in supply. Yep. This drop's probably not going to do a whole lot. There are a few banelings there to be ready for that. And he's just going to go home with that. Not yeah. even going to try it. He might try and drop that third. Yep, well, it's good to stay safe with your units. And he is dropping the third here. There's a flying crawler there in a good position. He's going to kill the queen, but here he goes. Ooh. Nope. He's going to fall back. Not going to commit to that. There. And so he's going to be able to clean up this drop. Is Ganji going to pick up? up? No, he's not. He's going to let all the marines die. That works too. I, I guess so. It works if you're the Zerg player. Ganji getting his uh, third set up right now. And 17 oh. Mew is out on the field, but he might lose it if he's not careful. Wow. Ooh. Not only did he get the meta back, but he forced Ganji to stim his entire army yeah. again to try and save that meta back. Can't and stim tanks, though. Now, what's that? Can't stim tanks, though. No, you cannot stim tanks, right? He did not stim his tanks. Probably a good thing. Here he comes in with a lot of Zerglings, Banelings to follow up. He's going to distract the tank fire with the Zerglings. Oh, Mewis coming from behind. And that is going to absolutely crush through Slayer's Ganji. Wow. Look at all those burrowed Banelings there as well. Burrowing yeah. them so he doesn't uh, waste them on the tanks, even though he actually had he had used some on the tanks. Yep. Didn't want the tank splash to finish them off, though, uselessly. And here's the thing, Ganji, though, taking a third. So even though he fell into a bit of a supply deficit there. Ooh. Stimming everything again. Yeah, Ganji really um, does that every time. He's going a little bit crazy with the stim, yeah. I mean, if the mutas are, like, right on the edge of your marine ball, you know, you might want to just grab a small section and stim them, stim them try to catch a few. But, yeah, yeah stimming everything, that's a lot of damage. That's more damage than the mutas could ever hope to do against that Yeah, group. check... Czech is actually getting out of control here, by the way. He's got 28 yeah. Mutalisks now. He's got 73 Lings on the map. Uh, a dozen Banelings as well. Banelings a, baker, a baker's man. dozen of Banelings. Uh, so he's got a really large army. He's got a really good army. Ganji does have a Thor in the mix, though. Yeah, but well, it's going to be know. helpful against the Mutas. And the nice thing, too, is that with the Marines around the Thor, the Thor is you know, protected against magic boxing, more or less. Yeah, he's going to need to use a lot of scans. When are players gonna start making start ravens? ravens? Yeah, I know. I, <laughs> I don't every know, time man. I see that, I don't know. Whoa, oh, something happened. And All right. Oh, some marines getting almost taken out by some burrow banelings there. It looks like losing a couple of those, but this third for check is in trouble. Uh, it is, but he's running his mutas back up, and now, oop, I think he's waiting for the mutas to come up there. Yep. Nope. Never and mind. There's a drop down at the lower right at the gold base. Oh my God, he's got a counterattack as though. well. That is a gigantic counterattack, Moltrap. That is a huge counterattack. It's all the mutas, but oh, Ganji's prepared for it. Yeah, nice wall Has a there. huge force back there. Check's going to turn around and now try and save this third, but it's too late. Too late, too late for that base. Yep. Might not be too late to get this army, though. Uh, yeah, I think so. And yeah, no trouble at all for Check Prime. Everything gets slaughtered. Yep. And at wow. this point, it is perfectly fine for him to trade units. As long as he keeps that Mutalist group big, he can trade all the Zerglings and Banelings that he wants to. Because, yeah, he's getting a little bit farther ahead each time with this. I mean, right now, well, actually, you know, I take it back. I said that, then I looked at the supplies, and Ganji's actually pretty even. He's uh, really keeping up on macro right now. Whoa! Ganji again stims his entire army. 
Yep, and this is the thing, he lost all his medevacs before, he's got one medevac with no energy. Those marines are not going to heal up again. They're they're actually just a lacking health at this point. They have 45 hit points instead of 55. Uh, nice little drop here at the expansion though. It's going to throw check off, distract him a little bit while he gets his third re-defended. And never mind, I can shut down. Yep, there's a lot of mutas out there. Um, the Nice thing right now for Ganji is that Czech Prime has basically stopped making mutalisks. Well, at um, the main of Ganji, no, nope, never mind. Sorry, he turns around. <laughs> it's it's getting kind of expensive for him to continue that constant mutalisk production right now. Yeah, he stopped so, making mutalisks for a little while now, actually. Yep, that's going to help quite a bit. He's down to just 20 mutas. Well, just 20 mutas. That's actually just a lot of mutas, mutas. But the point is that it's not getting any bigger, you know. And that's exactly what Ganji wants right now. Um, and it's very difficult to kind of switch from making a lot of mutas to making a ton of speedlings and banelings. You know, it just feels kind of weird when you see it yeah. in a TVZ. So, I'll have to see how well Czech Prime can handle the situation here. Now, hold uh -oh. up. Oh, here it comes in for a little counterattack. Is his army going to trap, though? Loses some Zerglings, but that's it. Yep, managed to kill one bunker, but that's not going to help a whole lot. And again, Ganji pulling ahead in supply right now. There are... There's like 50 Marines there, so every time he forces a stim, it does 500 damage. That's a lot of damage. To his army, basically. So even though he lost a few Zerglings there, he actually did more damage than, yeah. than you think. And here he is going in, taking out some turrets. Yep, this may this base may be in a little bit of trouble. He did manage to kill the turrets. And again, does another 500 damage as Ganji stims his whole army over. The uh, Oh, nice drop down. I think I'm just going to stop pointing too. that out. <laughs> Well, it happens every time. So he's going to chase the drones away a little bit. Ganji is doing fantastic on the upgrades, by the way. Sure. Almost 3-3 three, three right now for his bio. More SUVs getting taken out there, but it looks like Ganji doesn't care. Is he going to go for it? No, actually, turning around. Wants to save that third. Yeah, that's going to be 3-3 three, three against 2-1 Zergling. Yeah. So that's not going to be good at all. The Mutalisks as well only have 0-1 upgrades. So, I mean, that's why he, you see him running in. And hold that thought. Wow, nice little counterattack with some Zergling. He's going to get a couple Whoa. tanks for free and maybe some Marines. <laughs> yep. Yep, get them all. And, yeah, a lot of SCVs being oh. taken up by Czech Prime. And what is Ganji going to do? Okay, he did save his planetary there. Having to run all the SCVs away. Yeah, right now, I mean, Ganji doing a... Well, uh, Czech, rather, doing a good job of keeping Ganji in his base. Yep. Now, um... Czech has had his third base, or I guess his new third up, at the sort of bottom middle for a while. He doesn't have a ton of drones there, but he does have significant mining right now. They're about even, though, because Ganji's all but mined out in his main and natural. And he's finally pushed the worker count down below his as well. Czech is ahead 48 to 37 at the moment. True. Um, that's one of the big reasons why Ganji was ahead in supply, because he had so many SCVs. And now Czech is finally trying to whittle that down as well. In fact, Czech pulling a little bit ahead in the supply. I want to point out real quick that um, Czech, he's trying to use the mobility of Zerg and do all these counterattacks and what have you, but he has not spread his creep at all in the last 15 minutes. Mm. So he does not have creep connecting his bases to his uh, fourth and the left, and he doesn't have creep anywhere near Ganji's main, so it's going to be harder for him to get back. Here's Ganji going in to attack that fourth base. Uh, Czech is going for a counterattack. It's going to get pushed back very easily by the reinforcements of Ganji. And... For now, and anyway, for now, at least, again. actually. Looks like he's committed this time. Those supply depots getting annihilated. Whoa, this army is going to get killed, too. Magic boxing that Thor while the Zerg nice. and Banelings do their thing. Now, Czech did lose his top right base. But how successful is his counterattack going to be, Moltrap? I don't know. I mean, Kanji has a lot of Marines there. Yeah, it's going to be difficult to move in. But, you know, he is losing a lot of mining time at the same time. Has to pull back once again. Yeah, Czech did transfer his drones down to the bottom middles when he lost his left side base. So his mining is about the same, but Ganji has now secured uh, the top middle. Actually, maybe not for very long because there's some Zerglings. Oh, never mind. It's planetary. It's such a close game right now. This actually is very, very close. Yeah, Ganji takes the lead again for like, what, the eighth time? We keep talking about how much mining forward. they're doing, and the reason why is because it's both a very precarious position for both players. Yeah. If either loses their last mining base, they're going to fall behind so quickly, and both players are attacking each other's last mining bases. Czech going in and slaughtering SCVs with his mutas while Ganji kills off Czech's fourth with his army. Yeah. Oh, oh, nice wow. hit there. 
with the Bane Lake. Oh, a lot of SCVs getting taken out by the Bane Lake. It's down to seven SCVs. Ganji needs to go for it right now. Um, either needs to win the game right now or neither, lose. Neither player is mining right now. It's just, it's all going to come down to yeah. this one last battle. Who's going to win the last battle? Marine stimming in here to try and take out those Mutalisks. There's yep. not any Banelings, which would really, really be good for Czech right now. Well, Ganji's looking in really, really good shape. He's got a, an army that can totally handle what Czech Prime has on the field right now. There are still 20 Banelings around, so maybe with some fancy bro Banelings, he can come back in it. But I don't know. It's going to be really, really tough. Yeah, I mean, Ganji's... I don't know why he's pulling oh, no. back right now. He doesn't have any SCVs to lose, use this kind of thing anyway. He cannot lose that Orbital. It's full of energy. And... I, yeah, Ganji's going across the map to the left side. That is the key. Check is mining with a few drones at the left side now. Ganji, as you can see, is not mining at all. Is natural. Well, it's going to come down to this push. Yep, scanning, being oh. very, very careful here. And that's the other big thing. Is if, oh, 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 huge no. failing hit. Wow, that actually could have swung the game. That actually a is going to open things up for Check's counterattack to possibly. Win the game here. Some Zerglings and Mutas going yep. in. And he decides to fall back. Doesn't want to fight on that ramp. That's smart. He can surround the Marines if he gets them off the ramp. And Ganji knows it. Is he going to lose his last orbital? If he loses this, oh, there's no, no more scans to see Banelings. And now he lost that orbital. He Check actually has zero <laughs> minerals and zero <laughs> command centers. Yeah. Income is at zero for both of these guys right now. So and... Basically, Ganji needs to eliminate Check with what he has right now. Yeah. Can and he he's it, going for it. I don't know. Check Prime pulled back. He's got to try to protect that gold. I almost feel like he should really, you know, try to kill as much of Ganji's base as he can. Ganji only has, well, Ganji has zero minerals right now. He's used everything up repairing, so. Well, if he, he kills this anything. army, it doesn't matter if he doesn't have any buildings left. If he kills this army, he wins the game. Yeah. Because there's no way that Ganji can come back if he loses his army. Right. Well, what Czech Prime did was actually really smart. He took the gold, and if he can burrow Banelings on the ramp between him and that gold base and keep the rest of his units safe, he can win the game right like that because there's no way, and there are the burrow Banelings right there, there's no way that Ganji can scan to see him. So True. even though Ganji is taking apart Czech Prime's base right now, I think Czech Prime still... I think he's got uh, it, you know, I think he's still got him checkmated. Check. Checkmated. Checkmated, Checkmated Prime. Yep. Whoa, taking some big Mutalist hits right there. Wow, he killed off a Medivac though, leaving yeah. Ganji with a single Medivac left. That's nice. He needs to be very careful Actually, though. no, he has seven on the map. Where are the rest? Oh, the rest were back at his... I don't know where the rest are. You know, there's actually a sizable Marine and one Thor army moving down the right side of the map right there now. Are. Check Prime needs to deal with that as well. Yep. Um, you know, I, I think, yeah, I'm going to say it again. I think it's really going to come down to Burrowed Banelings. He's going to need to plant them in great places make sure oh, the timing he has a perfectly. couple at the gold base he's going to try and bait those greens into those two actually he's just going to go in with all of his oh, forces this is not the best executed but he just uh, may have actually. too much though the thor doing damage oh the last banelings oh, no. unburrow and he doesn't have enough units to take out those oh, last few he missed with the burrow banelings he only took out like five marines and check ggs oh that he's, oh man wow Check, Check had that game one. He did, man. And instead of opting for the elimination, well, I guess, you know, Ganji had another force at his main, so it would have been hard yeah, to well, that really was, eliminate him. That was a big thing. I, I mean, it did come down to those barrel banelings. Check had him a little bit too far, too far to the left. If he had moved him back, you know, kind of behind the mineral line, Ganji yeah. would have walked right over him. Check knows it. You know, I mean, it was so close. Both of these guys very evenly matched, but Ganji comes out on top. Yeah. He's going to the semifinals. And Czech Prime is uh, still kind of stuck in Code A, although well, he does have a chance to go yeah. the up and down. Well, so yeah, I mean, he's he still in the cup up and down matches, yeah. so there's a possibility he can get to Code S if he doesn't yep. play any Terrans. Ganji's macro uh, that game was really good. It was. It yeah. was. Uh, again, still, you know, Ganji's still a little bit lacking with the Marine splitting against Banelings, mm -hmm. but everything else he, he did play superb. Well, they, they both played well, but neither one of these guys really look as strong as some of the other people I think we've right. got in Code A. So right. we'll have to do, see how Ganji does against the winner of our next match, which is going to be JYP versus Teja, I believe it is. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah, Teja. And uh, that'll be interesting. Teja, he's another one of those Slayers Terrans who's kind of making his way up through the GSL right now. And yep. uh, JYP... 
is uh, one of those TSL Protoss that's kind of making his way up. Yeah, and, both, uh, players, yeah. both players kind of up and coming. Of course, we've seen uh, Tasia in the team league. He's done well in the team league. I remember he all killed his old clan, There's Zenex, JYP right there. There. in the beginning of that uh, team league. Yep. <laughs> the beginning of the second team league where Slayers ended up winning it uh, again. Mm -hmm. uh, or I guess that was the third team league. Um, I think it was the third? I'm yeah, pretty sure Slayers didn't third. do the first team league. Um, yeah. Anyway... Uh, and JYP, you know, he hasn't been in the GSL too much, but we've seen him, like, outside of the GSL doing very well as well. Yeah, yeah he has. He's done really well in non-GSL tournaments. We're going to take a quick five-minute break, guys. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. It's the GSL Code A with Moltrap and Doa.